Hello, YouTubers. This is a, another session, you know, uh, where, you know, we get to interview people from all over the world, people who are interested in software engineering, you know, uh, you know, people that are interested into uh, uh, social issues and using technology to give opportunity, opportunities for people, minorities, disadvantaged communities and societies from all over the world. And, you know, um, you know, I started this podcast, this series and my YouTube video to kind of give a, a, a little bit of a, of a spotlight for people who are out there trying to embrace technology, but more importantly, using technology for the greater good. They're using technology to give people hope and uh, happiness and help them to have prosperity in their lives. And, you know, I, you know, I am joined today by this brother here, Elbic. Hi, Elbic. How are you doing? <laughs> Elbic. Thanks, Tess. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Elbic, Elbic is from Uzbekistan. And he is a, a ball of energy. You know, I've seen his content. I've seen his contributions. He has a YouTube channel that reached already 2,000 subscribers and growing so fast. And people are so excited about just his overall uh, demeanor, his overall uh, personality and, and, and spirit that he brings out to the world through technology. So this podcast is going to be about giving the spotlight for my brother Elbeck here. He's going to talk a little bit about himself and the state of software engineering in Uzbekistan. There's a lot of younger people in Uzbekistan that are super excited about software engineering, building software. You know, uh, uh, Elbeck told me that he saw my engineering standard and he's willing to take a look at it and translate it into the Uzbek language and teach it to people, you know, and go out there and spread that light. So without any further ado, Uzbek, uh, so uh, Elbek, do you wanna do you wanna tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do and you know um, you know your passion and all that? Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Sure. Um, hello, everybody. My name is Elbek, and I'm from Uzbekistan. And currently, I'm the final year student at Westminster International University in Tashkent, okay. and a full-time software engineer at uh, Exadel, which is. Uh, American-based company. Uh, we have office. Uh, the, the newly opened office. Uh, I'm visiting it the second day today, and I'm very excited about uh, software engineering and uh, changing the world for better using the technology that is available at hand right uh -huh. now. Uh -huh. um, I have my own YouTube channel where I try to create a uh, uh, tutorials about software engineering in exclusively in Uzbek language, help uh -huh. my uh, fellow students learn software engineering and programming and do something great for the world. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's take a look. So Elbic, is that, is that your, is that what your YouTube, YouTube channel called El uh, Elbic or what is, what is no, the name of it? Uh -huh. It's actually the Sturlashen Organimus, which is directly translated into English as Learn programming. Okay, so so how do I how do I type that? <laughs> uh, how do I look for you for your channel? Uh, uh, do you want to just do you want to type it and then I'll copy it in here? Did that work? I I can send you a link. Okay, and uh, while you're doing LinkedIn. that, I will also I will also show people your uh your your LinkedIn profile. So this is your LinkedIn profile here. And uh, let's see, this is the post that you had the other day, and I think that's your YouTube channel. Ah, yes, I see. Yes. Yeah, th yeah. there is no way I, I was going to be able to type all of that, Elbic. But look at look at this brother's YouTube channel. You know, I, I, I swear to God, this, this brother here has more, you know, uh, eloquence and more organization in his channel than I can ever have. Like, mostly my channel is just, you know, hey, let's just put a video together at whatever stock photo that we can put in there works but this you're, you're already you're already 2020 now you're growing and people are looking at your content and you have the telegram and the facebook and the instagram you're you're all over the place here look at that nice nice and this is this is your rewards and you just being passionate about software engineering in general and and tell me a little bit about this so all of these videos are uh, localized you're speaking uh, Uzbek, and you are um, you are basically uh, 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 trying to connect your own uh, country, men and women, to technology by speaking them a language they understand. 
yeah. there's so much there's so much to that i think that this is some of the greatest things ever because a lot of the content about software engineering out there is mostly in english right but yeah. not everybody speaks english and not everybody needs to know english to be innovative right not everybody needs to know English to be a great problem solver or a software engineer. So I have a great appreciation for you about that. So tell me a little bit about the content that you have here. So you're mainly these days focusing on object-oriented programming. Like as far as I can read, this is C-sharp, OOP. I can't read the rest of those, but I yeah. think this is all object-oriented programming, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh -huh. um... Go ahead. So in the mornings, uh, throughout uh, throughout uh, this year, mm -hmm. I had a session with amazing person uh, mm -hmm. who is a thirty five year old guy mm -hmm. who has mm -hmm. his own uh, he he has his own job, but mm -hmm. is willing to embrace new technology. And we mm -hmm. had uh, we had a pairing sessions with him where I taught basic C sharp uh, mm -hmm. language to him. And mm -hmm. we recorded all the videos and with his permission and with our passion, we just decided to let everybody in Uzbekistan learn from these videos. Prior to that, we had a pairing sessions with uh, amazing student who studies at sixth grade. Mm -hmm. uh, he's so young uh, mm -hmm. who, who, who was really uh, willing to learn web development. So we had um, HTML, CSS, bootstrap lessons with him and we recorded it and put it into YouTube so nice. that every every person can learn uh, from these videos. What I especially like uh, with, with these two uh, series is that uh, we have two different ages. So uh -huh. which is the one with very young person and with the one with older person. Mm -hmm. And most probably uh, in Uzbekistan, those people who are learning software engineering are especially they, they students. Don't talk at to you. Uh, they uh, are uh, students uh, at universities. Uh, uh, how, however, this series proved that everyone, no matter the age, whether they are 35 years old or, six, or 14, 12 year olds, can uh, learn and do something great with these technologies. Awesome. So, so let me ask you this. So, so the state of software engineering in Uzbekistan, you know, there's a lot of younger people that want to learn software engineering. And through your YouTube channel, you're bringing people together to pair with each other and share the knowledge with each other. How was that? How is that going so far? Do you, did you feel like people are, you know, really excited about your uh, contributions? You know, do you feel people reach out to you and, you know, want you to do sessions and help them out how is that going for you so far go ahead so uh software engineering overall is getting better and better within uzbek community um nowadays we have a lot of passionate and energetic people in this software who are willing to contribute no, no matter what whether uh -huh. they are getting paid or not uh -huh. so within the last two years i have seen an immense uh contribution from people and i'm just uh, one one person uh, one example uh -huh. within those many people uh -huh. um, uh -huh. i we have uh, developed a new dotnet community in, Uz in uzbekistan uh -huh. people who are willing to translate the documentation from english to uzbek so that they can learn uh, uh without having to learn English first and understand oh, the technical language. So, so you're Other removing than... this, you're removing this uh, uh, impediment between yeah. people and learning about software engineering by, by, by putting in your time and effort to make this technology available in a local language. Okay, yes. keep going. I'm listening. Mm. Yeah, this one, this uh, project is one example. So it is dot, dot dash, uh, net and et dot us which is which is the documentation uh, hold in on, let's, language actually hold on let's share the screen let's show people that stuff okay so so how do you how do you say it how do you say the website again dot d o t dot, dash dash uh-huh dot us dot us u z like this yeah dot net oz so this is dot net community 
for Uzbekistan. Man, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful website. I love this. Look at this. So, so it's all translated by local engineers, software engineers, who put in the time and effort for free just to help everybody. And you got the light mode, dark mode. Man, this is. And you guys designed all of this. You built all of this. Yeah, I, I know actually the founders of this project. They have a YouTube channel where they have master classes every week. Nice. This is all C sharp basics. Oh man, that's beautiful. You know, a lot of people just just uh, to help people understand. You know, a while ago, you know, um, I, I was talking to people about how important it is to make uh, programming languages available uh, in the local language, right? So a little bit ago, let me see if I can find this because this is actually going straight into the stuff that you're doing, and I'm. Really excited about this. So a while back, I was going and saying, "Okay, guys, let me let's, let me see if I can find this." It's been a while ago, but uh, oh my lord, this is a little bit far. There it is. So so let me just tell you what what I was I, what I was doing a while back. I basically went and said, "Okay, you know, this is the diagram I was looking for, right?" Uh, if if you assume that this is the entire population of the planet, right? So if you look at you know Santiago and Sasha and Lynn and Omar and Aditi and Carlos, right? These in this exact same figure, these are the people of the world. So each one of them, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's seven billion people, okay? And these people, a a the amount of people that speak English natively or through a education is just around, barely around a billion, right? So that means there is 6 billion people around the world that don't necessarily know how to speak English, right? So that kind of gives an advantage, and I, I'd, I'd claim an unfair advantage, that someone was born in the right place at the right time is two years already ahead of everybody else because they speak English, right? I think what you're doing here is that instead of people spending two years just learning how to speak the language and read the language, you're putting them up front so they can learn programming maybe in a year and start innovating within five years' time frame. So if I were to describe this properly, I say you're setting the level you're you're setting the level straight. You're basically saying here's a level playing field, play field, and everybody should start from the same spot. I remember also one of the things that I wanted to do there is that to allow people to kind of change, you know, the programming language. Like you're writing in C sharp, right? Imagine if you started writing in C sharp in Uzbek, right? So when you're explaining the programming language in Uzbek, you're also like writing the code in Uzbek because this is the reason why I'm telling you about this is that I noticed like even when you are um, even this group, you know, of people, amazing engineers, by the way, you know, they still have to write keywords that are yeah. inevitably in English. Right. But it's a start. It's a great start. Man, this is amazing. I love this. And you said they have their own YouTube channel, too, and they're giving people master class trying to kind of, you know, uh, I, I guess that's that's the YouTube channel. Is, that, is, this, is this the one that you're talking about? Yes. yes wow, yes. man, this is this is sweet. This is so sweet. And they're actually putting in the time and effort and production. I see there's a lot of work going on there. This guy, actually, this guy uh, is, is, uh, is a founder with a black spot in his head. This guy here. Okay, yes. that's the founder. Uh-huh. Look at that. And they're using uh, Writer, uh, IntelliJ Writer, to, to kind of write C-sharp. That's, that's also amazing. They're trying everything. No, this is Java. This is Java. But they're explaining points, I guess. You know, it's not just .NET. It's everything else, right? Yeah. It's more inclusive than that. Oh man, yeah. I love that. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, uh, in most cases, they invite uh, those people who have um, experience in software engineering, someone who had been in in America or mm -hmm. who has been working in this field for a long time. Uh -huh. They ask them to give them master classes in Uzbek language, and mm -hmm. they have the web webinars like that, uh -huh. uh, like that you have shown right now. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And another uh, very important project that uh, I'd like to talk about is uh, Mohar Dev, which is can, can be translated as professional developer. 
Okay, let's take a look at it. Mukhar Dev, you said, I'll try to say some of these words. You know, I'm sorry, forgive my ignorance there, but I'll try my very best. So how do you how do you say that? How do you find the website? M-O-M-O-K-H, like this? No, no, it's H without K. I-R. I-R. R-R. D. D. E. V. E. V. N. Dot. Dot. U. Z. Use it. Let's take a look. Mukhardev. Okay, okay, I see now. Who is this heartbreaker? Is that a friend of yours? Okay, tell me. <laughs> uh, that's another inspiring project from Uzbek people. And mm -hmm. the founders are one of the most uh, experienced software engineers in Uzbek uh, community. Those mm -hmm. people uh, especially the founder, the person that you can see uh, in, in this banner. Uh -huh. The first banner is uh, working right now in Malaysia and he okay. is willing to contribute uh, to, to his country to give back to the people. And mm -hmm. they have established this um, platform so mm -hmm. that they can uh, teach software engineering to Uzbek people. And those people are one of the most uh, caring people for the nation and i can tell yeah that this is this young people having love and passion for their country and they want to help people kind of you know learn the technology and build better futures for themselves that's beautiful and you told me these people also like you too they want you to put content in there is that what you said yeah, after I, after I have uh, published my status uh, in LinkedIn, the, w one of them reached me out and they invited me to have a course um, mm -hmm. for them so that mm -hmm. they can put it in the platform and they can uh, share more knowledge to people. Are you and excited about this opportunity? I'm so excited. Think? I'm so excited about this opportunity <laughs> because it, it it was aligned with my own plans. As mm -hmm. you can see, the I, I am learning the standard right now. I'm trying mm -hmm. to master this as much mm -hmm. as I can. Whenever I have free time, I just open the GitHub and, and try to read and understand what's going on in there. Uh, and I was planning to... Uh, once I mastered this standard, I, I will be definitely doing a course on this. Mm -hmm. And since since they, they have the marketing, for example, in Mohardev, yeah. uh, they are reaching more people than my YouTube channel, and yeah. they are offering me to do a course for them. Why not? And I, I, once I master the standard, I'll be doing uh, the standard in Uzbek language as a video form in in the video form, right? That's and amazing, man. Yeah. How how old are you, brother? How old are you? I'm 22 right now. You're just 22 years old, and you have this energy. You know, you have all this energy. And, you know, when I was 22, I barely got out of bed. I was too lazy. I was doing anything. And you are just out there, you know, you know making a nationwide change, trying to educate people and help them learn about technology and change the world for the better. You should be we very are... proud. <laughs> yeah, you, ma you make your parents proud too. <laughs> okay, what else you want to share with us? Tell us. You know, what else are you up to these days? So you're, you know, okay. So you, so you, so you, so you hit two two thousand subscribers on your YouTube channel. Just so for people to understand, you know, Elbic is not is not pushing videos for pranks or you know some of these videos that oh look I'm gonna throw an iPhone from the tallest building in the world and break it. This is not this kind of content. 2,000 people on a technical channel is a lot of people because that's a very niche kind of uh, topic. And there is only a hand, like, like engineers, considering the population of the planet today, like I say, we're only 0.24% yeah. of the population of the planet. So, you know, 0.24% of whatever subscribers that subscribe to any other different kind of content that may be appealing to other people. This guy is talking about things that are very specific and it takes patience, brain power, you know, it takes a lot of education and he's simplifying it and putting it out there for people to learn and, and hopefully evolve and, and, and grow out of it. So, okay, tell me what else are you up to? So you're, so you're this 22-year-old genius, right? And you're going out there and you're teaching people software. I love it. What else are you up to? Go ahead. 
So uh, I had a plan for the last year or so to, to find a mentor and I, I was praying to find one. Uh -huh. uh, I, I was interviewing people in this, uh, in the, in Uzbekistan and trying, and I, and I'm offering myself, look, I am here, uh, get me a, as your mentee. I'll, I'll try my best. And, uh, yeah, I, I have been looking for, uh, forward for this, and mm -hmm. I'm I, I'm I think I'm on the right path. Uh, once I, I I find those mentors and the team, uh, I, I'm I, I'm willing to put more effort and uh, and energy to grow my skills because yeah. right now I feel that I I am lacking uh, something to share with other people. You know, uh, I have been doing the C Sharp series, but yeah. software engineering, as you want to go know, beyond that, you want to go yeah, a little bit. In fact, in fact, yeah. yeah, there are a lot of things uh, that that needs to be learned. For example, infrastructure, working with cloud services, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, deploying CI, CD and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. There are a lot of things to master. Uh, to learn and uh, and once I once once I feel accomplished uh, these things, uh, I, I'm willing to put more effort on creating more content in Uzbek uh -huh. language. And so you just want to learn. You want to learn so yeah. you can share with people. Yeah. Man, yeah, man, I would be I'd be more than honored to you know, work with you and, and be able to kind of teach you whatever you need to learn. I know a little bit about technology, just a little, no, not too much, just a little. And I might be able to share some of that stuff with you. And hopefully, you know, you, you make every software engineer out there proud. You are an inspiration, you know, at this age and at this time, you're going out there and you are uh, putting yourself out there and trying to teach the world. Uh, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of heart that you need to do something like this. And, um, you know, I, you know, I'll be honest with you, like, you know, when you're working on a YouTube channel, trying to put content out there, right? Whether it's monetary or not, right? You have to actually put a piece of you out there. You kind of put the heart and effort and you're trying to make, you know, someone out there, you're trying to simplify your content and you're trying to make your content so simple and unique. You know, so you're not just another copy of the next guy that is teaching, I don't know, bubble sort, whatever the case may be, you know, which are they're really, they're really doing great work. But there's, you know, a lot of them. You're trying to bring your own experience. You're taking technology and your personality and your experience. You're putting them together and then putting that out there as content, right? Yes. So I'd be more than happy, you know, I, I think you and I should definitely do sessions together. You know, we kind of collaborate to be like our channels are like sister channels. We kind of share content with each other. And, uh, you know, what 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 do you want to say to the Uzbek people through this channel? You know, I have a lot of followers. How, how many now? Around almost, you know, 5,500. You know, you're catching up to me. I'm pretty sure you're going to go beyond that, way beyond that. You know, but uh, what do you want to say? I want to make my channel you know, available for you to kind of communicate your channel. Go ahead, say say in your own language, say, tell people what do you want to say about software engineering, get them passionate, hype people up and tell them what they want to really do with their, with their, with their careers. Go ahead. Invite people to technology, I guess. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. So, uh, software engineering is a tool, as you said, to uh -huh. make, uh, people, um, to make the world better place. All mm -hmm. the software does is, what uh, is is to amplify your thoughts, your efforts, mm -hmm. uh, because as you saw, uh, it, throughout the li life of software engineering, the little idea can catch up, uh, mm -hmm. can do a lot of things um, in this world. Just for example, uh, the idea of connecting people has led to the development of Facebook, mm -hmm. of uh, many other uh, Technologies that we have seen, that we have seen. Yeah. So this sphere is something different, and the people in the sphere are uh, unlike uh, unlike any other people in the world. Mm -hmm. So uh, as far as I uh, as far as I have seen, the people have have contributed more and did it without any intention of 
money, for example. That's right. Uh, it was passion. They just wanted yeah. to do something. Uh huh. Mm. With with my own experience, I haven't spent any money to learn. I I knew English, so I, I opened YouTube. I mm -hmm. uh, saw we vid videos in, in, in this um, sphere, and I mm -hmm. learned that be this is probably because the people before me. Mm -hmm. um, Decided Did to put the content. Decided, mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, so you, so you found time. content out there and it, you just happened to know English and you're yeah. deciding to move it forward and push it. Man, you are, uh, you know, I always, you know, I'll make, I always tell people this example. This is one of my favorite examples. I say knowledge is like rain, right? Yeah. And people are like earth, right? Some, some will take the rain and grow the trees, and hold the rain with it. So it, those are the people who take the knowledge and they innovate things with that knowledge, but they also teach people. And some and some type of, of land, you know, it doesn't grow trees, but it reserves the water. So these are like those who learn and teach. They learn what they learn. They don't innovate, but they teach, right? And some others are just like the desert. They take the knowledge and they don't grow trees and you know, we are hoping that everybody is like the first two kinds, you know, of people. They will take the, the, the rain and they will grow the trees and they will give people the knowledge back. Um, Elbic, it's been such a, a pleasure, you know, meeting you today. Uh, and uh, I can't wait to see how much you're going to grow in your profession, in your craft, and how much people and lives you're already impacting a lot of lives you know, you're already impacting uh, a lot of people, you know, out there. And uh, I'd be more than honored to be at your service to help you whatever you need to fulfill your cause. Uh, and I hope I'll see you again. I have a feeling that you and I are going to do a lot of collaboration videos. And we're going to go out there and show people how to build great software. What do you think about that idea? Do you think that's a good idea? Yeah, actually, I'm looking forward for such content, and I'll be more than grateful to be uh, to, to to be in the same pairing sessions with you. I was actually dreaming of the, such sessions when I when I <laughs> when I see your content, people uh -huh. working with you. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, that would be that would be amazing. I, I'm looking forward for it. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much. And for the people watching us, I'm gonna drop Elbix, you know, uh, YouTube channel, link to his YouTube channel and his LinkedIn profile. Please reach out to him. You know, uh, you know, gain from this inspiration and this uh, energy that he has, uh, the love that he has for people and for the world. And uh, you know, I, you know, if you don't have any questions, comments, or concerns. You know, uh, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section. And as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in another video. See you later, Elbeck. Take care.